everybody. Happy Saturday. Um, it's a little bit cooler and I'm seeing a lot more people walking right now than it has been. But then again, it's eight o'clock. So it's early. So people are brave to get out and walk their dog or just get some exercise in before it gets too hot. So um, I pray you're having a good day, a good weekend so far. Um, if you can, when you remember, pray for us, the Gonzalez family, because weekends are harder than the weekdays. Um, and, and you all know because of Isaac's special needs. But um, I just wanted to say that I know that the Lord can use our brokenness and he can use our seasons of grief and mourning and I was reading in Ezra this morning and it said um, it said Ezra was still mourning from what the um, Levites and Israelites had did they married pagan wives mm -hmm. and in our culture we think you know what's the big deal um, you know people intermarry all the time but that that wasn't the point it was if you're unequally yoked, you are disqualified from serving the Lord, disqualified from going into the temple. You are in blatant sin and, and rebellion against God. And um, they even had to divorce these pagan wives because of uh, the influence that they would have. And it was just a big, big, big no-no in those days. Um, and I mean, even still now, Paul said, don't be unequally yoked. So anyway... My point is that in Ezra, it says he was still mourning, and I circled those two words, still mourning. And I think of loved ones, friends, and family that I know that lost somebody um, to cancer or to an illness or to you know a tragic death. Um, and a lot of times, we want them to hurry up and overcome their grieving, but they're still mourning. And in Ezra's situation, he was mourning over sin, which we all should mourn over sin. But I think that we need to give people space to lament. And I think that that's not really acceptable in our culture. Yeah, we, we, we know that if somebody dies, they're gonna be a season of mourning, but it's uncomfortable. It's very uncomfortable to be around people that are in deep grief, deep mourning and loss. And, but we need to go there. We need to be around people that are mourning. The Bible tells us, bear each other's burdens. And so I think that when somebody's hurting, and it might not be a death, but whatever, or it could be like an Ezra situation, repenting, somebody's caught in sin, and you're thinking, do I call them? Do I not call them? Do I visit them? Do I not visit them? Do what the Holy Spirit tells you to do. And often it's gonna be, don't stop reaching out to this person. I've had friends that, even though they don't respond back, the Lord tells me, keep reaching out, keep texting them, keep encouraging them, keep loving on them. Because, um, you know, you never know when they're going to respond back to that text or when they're going to say, yes, I will go to church with you. Or yes, I will, you know, accept your invitation, come over and pray with me or whatnot. You know what I mean? So we have to give people the space to grieve grieve over their sin or grieve over um, a loss but at the same time don't stop reaching out if that makes sense anyway um i just uh i love you guys i pray that god is teaching you new things um if he is text me reach out to me email me message me on social media because i want to connect with you all i know that that's hard to do but if the lord is teaching you something new um I want to hear about it. So anyway, let's pray. Father in heaven, holy is your name. Thank you for this morning, God. Thank you for the seasons. It's August. We are now in the throes of mid-August. And before you know it, it's going to be September and then October. And then we'll be in fall celebrating holidays. Times and seasons, they just go by in a blink. And so, Father, thank you that you are the God who controls the seasons. You control the seasons of our life. Good times, rough times, valley lows. You are God above it all. You are God in it all. 
thank you. Thank you for being our Lord God Almighty. Thank you for being greater than the sun, moon, and the stars that you created. You are Lord over the creation. You are God Most High, Al El Leon. You're Al Roy, the God who sees. Forgive us of all of our sins. Cleanse our hearts, O God. Create in us a clean heart, please, Jesus. We want to repent like Ezra and say, we're sorry for our sins. We're sorry for the depravity of our nation, that boys want to be girls and girls want to be boys and divorce is occurring left and right and nobody has respect for anyone anymore and in um it's just such a mess the list goes on and on jesus you know what's going on in our country and we've forsaken you we have said we don't want god in schools we don't want god in the public square we just want to do our own thing we want to be little robots that follow after the advertisements and the news and god it's 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 shameful our country is shameful but blessed is the name of the lord blessed is your glorious name you are our King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Alpha and Omega, Great I Am. So help us to focus on you, not on the problem. Lord, bring a revival on our nation, Lord. Please, God, bring America to her knees. Do whatever it takes, Father. May we stop worshiping entertainers and music and people that make money and businesses and corporations that do things um, that are successful monetarily and economically but they're not successful in your eyes lord may we redefine success in our nation success is someone that humbles themselves someone that humbles himself under the mighty hand of god and in due season you will lift them up help us remember that help us to pass the baton of faith to our children as i watched the four by four relay and i said this is such a perfect image of passing the baton of faith to our kids and grandkids and great grandkids father we need to seek your kingdom first help us to do that help us all each one of us praying together right now to seek first the kingdom of god and your righteousness and all these things will be added father help us those of us that are struggling financially struggling emotionally struggling mentally struggling physically lord i lift up sandra to you have mercy on him god go before him touch his aching body please god is in the hospital i pray for complete healing for your glorious namesake i pray for brandon for healing for your glorious namesake and audrey and so many others jesus please god minister to us we need you to heal us lord of the different things that we struggle with and go through lord so we just need you god we're desperate for your intervention we're desperate for your help we're desperate for your love we're desperate for you jesus to shepherd us shepherd us lord help us lord be with us lord jesus please god we pray for our nation for a president that would be godly lord that you would just please protect our presidents and uh leaders from assassination attempts god there's so much evil in our world protect our leaders god please be with our military god be with our um all of the military um avenues a different air navy um marines army be with them thank you for them we honor them and may you be with their families god and so we just say we worship you we love you blessed are those who mourn for they'll be comforted lord we want to mourn over our sins because that's what ezra did and you blessed him and you are restoring god you are a redeeming God. And I pray also for Adil, that you would heal him of these drugs addiction and restore him to his mom. Heal his soul. Give him a heart of flesh and replace that heart of stone. Change him. And all of those loved ones that we know and love that are um, out in the streets or doing nonsense, help them to repent. The prodigals, help them to repent. Please, God. And we just worship you. We give you thanks for our salvation that we're born again. We just can't wait to see what you're going to do in this next season of our lives. In Jesus' almighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you guys.